Okay, so relative frequency, um, this is part two of our exper experimental and theoretical probability. Um, relative frequency is the total um, number of successful attempts divided by the total number of trials. So it can be used to make predictions. Okay, so um, we're talking about total number of successful attempts divided by total number of trials. So as the number of trials increases, the relative frequency of an event approach will approach the theoretical probability. So it's saying the more times that we trial this or experimental this, the closer to the theoretical probability we will get. So, okay, so the spinner at the right is spun 50 times. That's five times more than what we just did on our last experiment. And the re results are shown in the table below. Complete the experiment below. So, relative frequency, we said, was number of... Let's see, where can I write this? Make it darker. Um, number of successful attempts over number or total number of trials. Okay, so um, relative, fre um, relative frequency is that um, 12. And it said that it was spun 50 times. So they landed on one 12 times. So that would make that a 12 out of 50 attempts, which means if we simplify this, that we can divide by 2 to simplify. And we can get 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. Um, so that's our relative frequency. Um, so then moving on to the next one, it landed on 2 8 times. So 8 out of 50 attempts, and again, we can simplify this by dividing by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. Okay, so relative frequency is just taking the number of successful. So successful on 3 is 13 out of the total number of attempts, and they spun it 50 times, um, and that is simplified. And then successful for landing on four, it landed on four 10 times out of 50. So I can simplify that and divide by two, which gives me one fifth. I mean, sorry, not divide by two. Um, if I divide by 10, I get one fifth. Okay, press pause and fill out the last relative frequency for me, please. Okay, so now it wants you, so you got, should have gotten 7 over 50, sorry. Now it wants you to spin 100 times. I said it 100 times. So you saw how, um, if you don't have this printed on paper and you're watching on a computer, how you could do this. Um, you can also look up like a generator spinner online and plug in these numbers and generate spin if you are on computer. Um, if you are in class, we will do this in class. Uh, but you're going to spin 100 times, and here our answers will vary. Sorry, that was Riley, y'all. Um, but they should be close um, to 20%, or 20% is one-fifth of each um, relative frequency over here. Just so you know. Okay, so this time, go ahead and take your 100 spins. And this is what how many times it landed on each number. And then these are your ratios of relative frequency that we just did with 50. Um, and then press pause and go to get that done and press play when you have finished. You will also need to answer number five on this. Okay, number six, what is the theoretical probability of spinning each of the numbers? So theoretically, if we have numbers one, two, three, four, five, 
each one of these um, numbers is going to be, I have a one out of five chance. I have a one out of five chance. I have a one out of five chance. So one out of five every single time um, to land on each of these numbers because there's only one of them and there's five total, correct? So one out of five chance, let's talk about percentages. And I know I just said that a second ago, but remember when we are doing percent, a percent is out of <laughs> is out of 100. So that means that my denominator needs to be 100. So what do I do to 5 to get the 100? Um, I multiply by 20. 5 times 20 is 100. Therefore, 1 times 20 is um, 20. So the 20 out of 100 is 20%. Okay. Um, so this is 20% on all of these. Okay, and then uh, how does the relative frequency change uh, between when the spinner is spun 50 times versus when the spinner spins 100 times? So we already said that the, the number of, when the number of trials increase, what happens? We said this earlier, that if we keep doing more and more trials, then we get closer to what? So when we're doing tri trials, that's called experimental frequency. But if we continue to do more and more trials, do 10 and then 50 and then bump it up to 100 and then 150, the num as the number of trials increase, so as the number of trials increases, Um, our relative frequency, because that's what we're measuring right now, relative frequency approaches, approaches, um, the theoretical frequency. So we started off doing the theoretical frequency um, or probability, sorry, theoretical probability, um, like best case scenario, like this right here is theoretical probability. You have a one in five chance, um, a 20% chance. But once we actually experiment it, it we might have landed on one, two times and on three, zero times. You know what I mean? So theoretically, we're, we have a 20% chance to land on each number. Um, so as the number of trials increases, we're going to be close to that 20%. Um, the less trials we do, some of those could be at 0%. Um, so suppose, let's go to number eight. Suppose the spinner is spun 100 times. I mean, that's not 100, 1,000 times. Predict the relative frequency of each spin. Okay, well, if this is, I'm not actually doing it, that means that this is theoretical, right? So if I am predicting the relative frequency, that means I am doing theoretical predictions here. Um, so no matter if it's spun 10 times, 50 times, 5,000 times, I still have a one in five chance of landing on this because there are one, two, three, four, five numbers total. And there's only one one. So that's a one out of five chance. So regardless of how many times I say I'm going to spin it, before I do the experiment, it is a one in five chance, which is 20%. So that means each of these is a one in five chance, which is 20% until I get to the experimental. Okay, so one in five chance, 20%. One in five chance, 20%. Okay, so you have homework that you need to complete and make sure that you get it submitted. Let me know if you have any questions.